if you're not logged into your Dropbox, you'll just need to go ahead and log in. And from here, you can create your own apps. Now, the benefit of creating your own app instead of using somebody else's Dropbox app is you keep your app uh, folder secure meaning no third party has access to your Dropbox files. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create App. We're going to choose the first option here. It's only giving us one option, but you've got to do it. Number two, select the type of access you need. Let's select App Folder. And this basically means that my app does not have access to other content in my Dropbox account, which is a, a good security practice to do. And then we're going to name our app. This needs to be something unique. So I'm going to use my name here. You can do whatever you like. I'm just going to call it here Matthew McDonald Example App. Let's go ahead and create that now. And look at that. We've created a new Dropbox app. Super easy and a little bit exciting. Now we're under the settings here. And before we go down here and grab our app key and secret and set up our redirect URI, which is easy to do, I'm going to first go to the permissions here and we're going to select the permissions for the app. Now I'm using this for the WP video streamer. So we need the files and folders. So I'm going to go ahead and select files and folders here. And under the cab collaboration we need the sharing and we need the file permissions now we don't need contact permissions and we don't need account permissions so once we've set those up let's submit our changes down the bottom here to save the changes and now we're going to head back to the settings here scrolling down we can see app key app secret and our redirect URI. Now I'm going to actually work from the bottom up here. So going back to my WP video streamer, we've got here your Dropbox app redirect URI. So let's click to copy that. And going back into my Dropbox, I need to add this here in the redirect URI. So I'm just pasting that in and clicking add. Okay, that's been added. I don't need to save changes. And while we're here, let's go ahead and grab our app key. So I'm just going to select the app key here and Dropbox client ID. I'm pasting that in there. And let's gr grab our app secret. So clicking show. I'm going to just go ahead and highlight this and copy it. This is playing up a little bit with Dropbox. Normally I just double click to select all, but if you hold the mouse down when you highlight it, you can actually select it. Pasting that in there. And now we can first update to save the changes. And let's go ahead and connect this app. So I'm gonna click connect app. And now it's connecting me to this app. It's giving me a warning. Hey, this app is new. There's not a lot of people using it. That's referring to your app. That's the app we just created. In this case, the Matthew McDonald example app. So we're okay with it because we created that app ourselves. We're going to go ahead and click continue. And here's the permissions we just set up in the app. We're going to choose allow. And it's going to bring us back into our admin. And here we go. Now we can see we are connected.